I'm going to call to order uh, the Committee of the Whole agenda meeting for April 25th, 2022. Um, first of all, I want to apologize to uh, the audience and those on Zoom. We had a little television issue, so Jose is doing the best he can with um, a projector. Asking everyone to please speak loudly and into the microphone. Please use your mics when you come up um, to address the council. And um, unfortunately, uh, President Redden is out ill this evening, so I'll be running the meeting, but we'll get through it. So with that, I will uh, ask for a roll call, please. That's, me. That's you, honey. <laughs> okay. um, Woodrow? Here. Glazier? Here. Rimwall? Here. Swanson? Here. Passy? Here. Erickson? Redden? We have no scheduled appearances at this particular meeting, so I'm just going to start with the rest of the agenda. Um, administrator updates. Joe. Oh. Uh, thank you. Um, after being on the job for eight days, I can report that I've done some things. <laughs> and of course, I probably have to in my office. So most of the, uh, the time I've been on, on board has been uh, meeting various staff, consultants, attending meetings of various boards, and some of the public and getting a tour of the community. So I'm getting familiar with uh, what's going on in, in Two Harbors and uh, of course working on those things that are popping up on my desk every day. Thank you very much. Uh, attorney updates. I don't have any. Nothing. Okay, thank you, Mr. Crossley. Clerk and HR updates. Well, um, she's still on vacation. Did you have anything that you wanted to fill in? Um, well, I just wanted to point out to the council, um, there is um, an amended agenda, and so it has the red, it just says amended agenda on it, um, and I'll just go over quick what the items were that were updated. We did have a communication, two new communications that came in for the public hearing for the city's short-term rental, so you can find that um, attached behind the updated agenda. It's un um, Communication number five and number six. And then also for consent agenda items, numbers 10 through 12, and I'll just read them off quick, and then all the information behind them is attached. Um, number 10 is accepting the recommendation to promote Steve Hedin, um, or appoint Steve Hedin to the Assistant Public Works Director position for an interim basis. Uh, number 11 is authorizing to exclude the city administrator from the Minnesota Public Employees Retirement Association, known as PARA. And then number 12 is authorizing to the city of Two Harbors, Minnesota to elect the standard allowance to spend on government services for the ARPA dollars. And um, I can go over that uh, during the finance discussions for everybody. Thank you. Madam Chair, yes. Um, is the amended agenda the consent item, Miranda? Um, it says it just ends at three. Is that accurate? Oh no. Um, it's okay. Yeah, I, I just wanted to make sure you had that tight. No, so. right. Yep. So thank you. Thank you. I'll make sure to update that when we read the resolution. Okay. Anything else then, Miranda? No, that's it. For the, for the HR, so would you like to go on with the finance report? Sure. So um, we just, uh, last week was the 2021 audit, um, so we're just wrapping things up, but I think it went really well. They will be presenting the 2021 final audit to the City Council on the last meeting in May. Um, then I wanted to go over with you really quick um, consent agenda item number 12. So with the American Rescue Plan Act dollars, we received $385,657.02. Um, that was our final amount. We re received the first portion in 2021. The second portion will come sometime in June, July of 22. Um, our first reporting is April 30th of 22. So that's Saturday of this week. And with discussions with our auditors, um, most of the cities that are receiving $10 million or less are taking the um, standard allowance, which means that 
it kind of leaves you with less restrictions for reporting purposes. So, and then the League of Minnesota Cities provided the resolution, which is on the very last page of those um, additional dollars <coughs> or additional handout that I gave you. It's just to elect that standard allowance because I know we've had discussions and we have not decided where that those the dollars were going to go because we had some time. And this is probably the best way, you know, to earmark those because it gives you a broader scope of what you can utilize those dollars for. Could you repeat that number again, that we, the, the amount that we got? Yep, um, the total is $385,657.02. Does anybody have any questions regarding that resolution? Sorry about that. I don't see any. Thank you. Community <laughs> development planner updates, Jen? Thank you. Um, so tonight we have the public hearing on the short term rentals. And then on your desks, you have um, just a quarterly report from the Small Business Development Center that was part of their agreement that they would provide these reports. So in the first quarter of 2021, they had 11 people reach out to them about starting a business. And then the only other thing that I have is Senator Bach's bill for the waterfront moved to the House, and so I testified with Representative Murphy on that on the 19th. Oh, wait, I think I got it. <laughs> And that's all I have today. Thank you. Oh, uh, look at it. Thank you. Whoever's on Zoom, could you please mute your um, microphone? City engineer. Meeting council. <clears throat> nice to see you all in person tonight. Um, the item I have on the agenda tonight is consent agenda item number seven which is our proposal for the preliminary engineering activities for the next street project, which is going to be the 2023-2024 street project. It's going to be done uh, very similar to the last one, uh, done as a joint powers project with Lake County. So Lake County will be the lead agency. If you recall, they're um, proposing to reconstruct 5th Street from 7th Avenue down to 4th Avenue, and then 4th Avenue from 5th Street to 6th Street uh, in 2023. And so we're partnering with them again on their project and we're going to add in, we're going to do all the city utilities under the blocks that they're doing and then we're also going to do the 500 block of 5th Avenue and the 400, 500, and 600 blocks of 6th Avenue. Uh, we had prepared a proposal for this, reviewed with the Public Works Committee at their meeting um, about 10 days ago and uh, they were assessed with the proposal, recommended it come forward to the council tonight. Um, the amount of our proposal, which would take us from the start of the project through the feasibility report and the, that first public hearing where we um, obligated by Chapter 429 statute to hold that first public hearing. Um, our estimated fees are $156,300, and that's uh, identified in consent agenda item number seven. So that's what's for your consideration tonight. Um, and just for reference, um, the county is scheduled to award their portion of the project for design at their board meeting tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. Um, we did propose a project and uh, late last week the county engineer told us that he's recommending our firm to do the work for the county's portion. Um, and as of this afternoon, it is posted on their website for their action items for tomorrow's board meeting. So city council will you'll authorize your part tonight. County board will authorize their part tomorrow and then as of Wednesday morning, um, to go forward with, with the entire project for the design activities. So we'll probably have surveyors out this week. So I'll stop there and see if there's any questions. Councilors, do you have any questions for Joe? Madam Chair, mm -hmm. um, exciting. Um, thanks, Joe, for that report. Um, do you the question do you have is it a percentage of what you anticipate uh, what the project costs are going to be or is this just the you know the the fee for the pre-engineering and all those things yeah this is the fee okay. that gets us I mean the, the project breaks down into three main steps when you're going through 429 
There's the preliminary activities that get you through the feasibility report and the initial estimated assessments. And then you have the first public hearing where you review all that information with the public. At that time, if everything looks good, then the council officially orders the project and we shift into final design. And that's where we pre prepare the bidding documents. And then the third phase is the actual construction. Once we get through with the bidding documents, advertise those for bids. Uh, if you award a construction contract, then we shift into the construction phase of the project. So this phase right now would take us from the start through that first public hearing at the completion of the feasibility report. And this is based off, because this project is so similar to last year, you know, going by the actual costs that were incurred with the previous project, you know, that drove a lot of what the budget for this project is. Just knowing the level of detail that it takes to determine that assessment, the you know, calculations, and then the coordination with the county to make sure we've got the agreements in place and that the projects are fitting together the way they should. Um, that's what drove the, the budget number you've seen here in the for the uh, preliminary activities. Do you know offhand what the county is investing in this as well for this preliminary or not? I believe in the CIP, their five-year highway plan, um, their estimated project, their estimated cost for this project was three months. Yeah, I guess I'm speaking more to you know what the oh, uh, what spending, their, what their what design their budget design is? budget is. Yeah, yeah, our design budget is just under 160 thousand. Okay, so it's 160 for the county and. 150 or approximately. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions? The only other quick update I'll give you is uh, last year's project. You know, we've got two blocks left to do uh, Fifth Avenue and Sixth Avenue west of Eighth Street. Um, unfortunately, I don't have much of an update tonight. We've been talking with the contractor, but they're still waiting to sh see how all their workload shakes out and their crews. So they haven't given us a firm um, time frame yet. But I, I anticipate that they'll probably be on site. I'm going to guess the first week of June um, to get those, get the work going again. Uh, contract, they, they need to have the work done by August 1st. Mm -hmm. And each one of those blocks is going to take them roughly a month. So okay. that's roughly what I'm guessing is be, <coughs> June and July will be the bulk of the construction on what's left from last year's project. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Any other additions, questions, anything anybody wants to add to the agenda? Any other discussion? Go ahead, Joel. Thank you. I forgot to mention in my report, um, under uh, consent agenda item number three, I've got a little memo regarding the city administrator recruitment. I'd like your input on putting together a uh, position profile. And the uh, personnel committee will be meeting this week and uh, going through more details on the recruitment timelines and such. So hopefully we'll keep that ball rolling and get somebody in here as soon as possible. Did you really want to retire? No. I am retired. I know. Just asking. <laughs> you want to do it again? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, if there's nothing else, I'll look for a motion to adjourn the agenda meeting. No move. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's carried and we're adjourned.